Hey friends, this is a very short video of involution of the uterus. Involution of the uterus is a very very important topic to learn. Why I am telling you? Because if the uterus doesn't go to go back to its normal position and size, then there are problems. It shows there are some problem. Just after delivery, just after delivery, the uterus comes to the level of umbilical around the level of umbilical and when the placenta is also removed it becomes just at the lower edge of and uh, umbilicus it stays there for next 48 hours then it starts decreasing or it starts involuting one and a uh, half inch per day okay. so if you consider half inch per day it reaches at the level of pubic symphysis at 10 to 12 days and in non-pregnant position it goes it takes up to 4 weeks so what, what is the basic understanding here is whenever you see a postnatal patient you must and must examine the parabdominant uh, and see the involution for uterus what are the reason for delayed involution it's also called sub-involution. The causes are RPOC, that means retained product of conception, placenta, fibroid uterus, over distended uterus in case of large baby twin pregnancy, and infection. In when you duty in the labor room, when you do duty in the labor room, sometimes you notice that the patient comes, unknown patient comes with a uh, with already in full dilatation and you deliver a uh, one baby but you don't know that another baby can be there so just after delivery of a baby you must examine the uterine height it should come around umbilical level if it is more than umbilicus level then you should again examine per vaginal to see for another baby this is very important it happens in normal life and it's also dangerous so this involution is a very 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 important topic but neglected by students more often so please kindly pay attention to this thank you